Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, do I look tired to you? Because I've been waking up every Friday at 3 a.m. for the last, I don't know, six weeks. So I think it's, it's starting to get a toll on me because, you know, I didn't want to get spoiled. But yeah, today we're talking about WandaVision. So, WandaVision. It's been quite a ride, like, because I remember I did a, week, a video about WandaVision around episode 3. And then I stopped, and let me, let me tell you what, because it falls into whatever I'm going to talk into this review. I felt like I was tr I was watching, uh, what's it called, Westworld, like, you know, those, or Lost, those shows that have intricate plot that you need to be following to every detail so they can understand the end or try to catch up to what they're trying to say or even trying to solve the, the mystery before they get to it. And I'm going to be honest, I did not think that Marvel could put it off. Like, I did not think that they could successfully create a, a magical mystery, I can say. And I was kind of right, because I don't think that was their intention. Like, uh, I, well, a lot of people call it trolling online. I'm not sure that's the right word. But to me, it felt like they were just toying with us, which might be actually the, that might be actually trolling <laughs> in a way. But yeah, I felt like the 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 I felt like a detective show. Well, I felt like I was in a detective show, trying to piece out the piecing in, like matching the clues and trying to find out what actually. It's a big mystery if Agatha is, if Agnes is Agatha or who is Pietro or all that. And you know, they, they were, if if we go, I mean, I understand the fan theories and all that, but if we go just by the, what they gave us in the in the show, what they showed us, it's, it's trolling a little bit. Like you can't, you can't use uh, Pietro from the Expand Universe cast him in the MCU and not expect us to go bonkers because you know that's Pietro that's Quicksilver that's uh, Evan Peters so for them to just bring him and use him like that I guess yes we feel a little bit offended like so back to the show and mostly the series finale here's my here's what I think here's how I saw it because I wasn't mad at the answer that we got, I was just disappointed because there was, and I, like I, that's what I said, I, that's why I stopped um, doing the weekly, the weekly reviews or every three episode review because I realized that all those theories were leading me to nothing, it was almost like blocking my enjoyment of the show, like yes, I was trying to speak a little bit about where things might go but i didn't want it to become the the the, the spot of the week like i didn't want it to become okay like focusing on every little detail to see if uh the, the, there's a bigger meaning to whatever they're showing us like for example mephisto just because they talked about you know i well i understand that in a show about witch and witches if they mention you know the devil or all those small little things it's 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 kind of a red earring like you realize that they they were playing with us like there's no there's no other way to describe they were playing with us but i tried as much as possible not to get sucked into the playfulness of it but even if you didn't the the last episode was underwhelming in the fact that at least to me it felt like they didn't it was a like they felt they, they filmed the eighth episode and then they waited a couple of months before uh, filming the ninth episode like there was a lot of things that were not connecting with the rest of the of the show like uh i think i don't know where, what episode was it when fiatro came in i think it's four or five so he came in he had very little presence and that, he, had, he had that big episode right yeah and then he had very little presence until the next the last episode and the the, the way they resolved the theater thing was very i mean if if you say okay it's an actor that she basically 
um, you know, she cast a spell on an actor so the actor could play Pietro. Okay, I mean, we, it's not the best, but okay, I understand that. But why do you make the resolution of that so, I don't know, wimpy, if it's the right word? Like, it was, it was not good because he was just tackled and then removed the thing. You know, I, that's it? Really? For someone who got super speed? Really? Like, why didn't we have, like, why didn't we have a, a showdown between Monica and Pietro? That would have been exciting, like, okay, even if, the, even if the resolution is the same, at least to get there, we, we have something visually appealing, you know, a little fight. And then that would have been the better way to display the new um, Monica powers, not, you know, asking, acting, acting as a shield. Which, I mean, it could have still happened, but the better way to display it. Like, I feel like Monica has been not using her power. She has been letting her power react to things around her, if that makes sense. But yeah, like, I would, I would have preferred to see Monica actually be active, proactive in the, in the use of her power, not just letting the power, you know, react to whatever was happening around her. Yeah, that, that's one of my biggest complaint about this episode. It could have been better. Also, uh, the whole witches on witches <laughs> violence. <laughs> I actually loved it. I did love it. It was it was entertaining. It wasn't something that I was expecting. So it, it's kind of I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Also, uh, the how it ended, the whole casting the room. The witches who cast the one is the only one that can use the power. That was clever. Yeah, that was that was actually clever. That's that's a way to end the fight without actually they didn't kill anyone. Well, some people died, but they didn't kill anyone on this on this show, which is interesting. But yeah, um, well, like you know, Vision, well, Vishal, <laughs> Vision and the kid and the kids, they did have to die because she couldn't sustain the the spell because well she she realized that she has been hurting a lot of people so it couldn't go on forever and something interesting that happened between Wanda and Agatha was Agatha said the spell was um, broken it was not well done which means that technically if she learns how to, you know, how to witchcraft, she, if she learns witchcraft the proper way, she could technically redo the spell, but the perfect spell. See what I mean? Because all the, the, the whole ending of One Vision was about her learning what she is and learning how to control her powers better. So, I don't think she, she gave up on what she wanted. I just think that she needs to find a way to do it or she needed to find a way to do it so that it doesn't impact the others as much. I know I already said that the um, Monica Rambo fight with, with Pietro was the most disappointing thing for me but the Visions fight to me was just the most uninteresting. I mean the whole Ship of Tears thing, it, it's an interesting fact or interesting thing to an interesting conundrum to think about but the fight in itself left me you know go back to the other thing go back to the other thing so I, I just didn't care that much but I mean I'm curious about what happens to white vision at the end like I, I guess he becomes the vision but since he left what is going to start well I almost said start we know he's there but is he going you know to, to New York to to the root of his existence or you know or it's going to get holed up in a small box trying to think about life. Still have possibilities. But yeah, uh, overall, let's just say that the first three episodes of Wonder Vision were I don't know, about seven, seven, seven uh, a good seven, yeah. The last episode was also a good seven. The middle episode were like 10, 11. So, if I, if I had to wait the entire show, it would be quite difficult because he had a lot of peak moments 
in the middle but the ending was a little bit flatter than I imagined and the beginning was a little bit flatter than I imagined because it took me like two and a half episodes to actually get in, interested in the mystery of what was happening so yeah, I would say WandaVision is a good show, it's not a bad show, like the, the ending won't anything about the show, it just it just showed us that Marvel liked to keep it simple, that we shouldn't expect those big theories to come true, like Magneto is going to pop up or you know, all those things. So I think for the for further references, we just need to, to realize that Marvel Studios especially likes to keep it simple even if they have like uh, 50 or 70 years of history in the comics they really want to just make it affordable well available to the littlest kid so that they can understand what's going on which is a good strategy you just need to you know hold back on the fan theories <laughs> this was a good experience for the entire community at least now we know what we should expect from from the shows hopefully uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is almost as good because we, we, we all know that it's not going to be that good. We all know. But we if it's if it's like a seven good, then yeah we we can deal with that. I think the next thing that people are going to be looking forward to when it comes to Marvel TV shows are either um Loki or I wouldn't say Hawkeye because I mean I'm I want to see how Haley Sanford does but when it comes to you know um in relation to the rest of the universe because if you look at it falcon the winter soldier and uh hawkeye feels like very enclosed story as in they're not going to have much effect on the rest of the mcu but when you look at one division or loki you think maybe what's happening in there is going to reflect going to have a follow-up in the mcu so those two are the ones that I would say we have a lot of fan theories and the other two will just be like just fun enjoyment. Also, maybe she hulk too. Who knows? Alright, Wonder Vision. What do you think about it? Uh, just let me know in the comment section. And if you think I'm wrong about anything I've said or I'm right about anything I've said, just follow me, just you know, write in the section, then we can have a proper conversation about it. Oh, what did Vision say again? Uh, I request elaboration.